Hello, it's Sarah, and today I'm going to do a little art journal page for you and do it in real time. I am getting out my, <laughs> excuse me, my paints, and I'm using a flesh tone, highlight flesh, and shading flesh. And we're going to see how it goes. I also have light buttermilk, and I'm, I might lighten up the light with that. Um, but that's it. And I'm going to do this face by painting it the way I paint. Um, so not wet on wet. I'm going to do it in layers. I have a couple of Tombows. I think I might do her hair with these and just use water. I filled my, I just got these little spray bottles at, uh, see it's already settling sorry at Michael's and I put FW inks in here the acrylic inks so I think I'm gonna have like a tealy gold background so I don't know if orange and red hair will go good I think it will I'm just gonna go with it you know you know me um, and I have a few brushes out I'm just gonna paint her on with this flat brush it's about like a number eight flat and let's see I'm gonna just draw I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make her an angel, and I think I'm going to do a two, you know what, let me use one of the pages back here. I'm going to do a two-page spread. So, um, I'm going to have a wing and hair going that way. I think I'm going to put her here, or here, and have her wing and her hair. Nope, over here. Alright, so I'm going to have her just, I want to put a halo too. So I can move some of this stuff over. Um, sorry. I want to make room so I can get this in the shot. I want to come in a little. All right. So I'm just using, this is a graphite pencil. And um, let's see. So this is what I've been learning taking my classes. So I'm hopefully going to be able to explain this to you. I want to see if I want her facing I think I'm gonna do her facing straight like just right here well that's the thing it doesn't always then I then I kinda have to play with it and the first thing I'm gonna do is paint this a solid color so let's get her neck um, And then I want, I think her hair is going to go that way. And then a wing is, can you see what I'm doing? Yeah. I want a wing to come up and over here. And I guess another wing would be able to come up here too. Yeah. And then I'm going to put a halo up here. And so do I want to put another wing? Yeah, I think I do. So let's go up <clears throat> like that. That looks good. But then I was going to do hair. But you know what? She's an angel. Does she need flowy hair? Maybe. All right. So the first thing I want to do is basically I just want to get my shape I like pointy chins and oval heads because I have a pointy chin and an oval head. I have a P-shaped pin head. <clears throat> so let's see. I'm going to erase a few of these lines just so I can get my shape. And you know what? I'm going to put um, two coats of paint on here. And you know what? I haven't... Um, just sewed the page because I'm going to use sprays. This is the um, Diane Reevely art journal and I want to see how everything is going to just go on here without um, gesso, which could be a mistake, but I just wanted to go straight to um, paper. So let's go ahead and, you know, I don't need you to, you don't have to be with me. I always use water in my brush and I'm going to, I'll go back out a little bit. Um, and I'm just going to use the medium color, the medium color paint. 
and just base this in. And then I'll sketch the face on top of this. So I'm actually using a lot of paint right now because I'm not sure if the paper is just going to suck it all up. Um, and it might. But you know what? That's That might be a good look too. I don't know. It might look cool. It might add something to it. And I mean her hair is going to be up there so you don't have to worry about the top of the head actually. I haven't done very many faces in my um, painting life because um, I uh, never did like true art classes like I just learned techniques um, base coating sh uh, and floating dry brushing things like that and um, so I never learned any real art classes like paint theory and um, because I'm a bottle baby. Those of you who watch my videos know what I mean. So I don't mix colors. I use what I have. That's already been mixed for me. And um, what art journaling is helping me do is find my own style of painting that I like because like I said I'm taking life book this year and I'm really enjoying it um, and everyone does everything so differently actually should I do two coats I don't know what do I want to do her, her wings I think I want to do them like a really light color maybe I'll use this highlight flesh it's like a peachy color and then I'll use white to um, highlight them. I think this could be cool. Um, and when I use the sprays, I'm just going to let the paint kind of go wherever it goes. But the base, the way I used to paint was you always base coated first. You put your base color on and then you add the details on top. And so that's what I'm kind of trying to do. I'm trying to use those techniques now in my art journal and with my um, mixed media painting. I like that. It's kind of like a flesh tone wing. So, oops. Sorry, guys. I had paper on there. I'm going to go away and come back when this is all ready to go and be sketched. I changed my mind about the red and orange for her hair. And I'm, I, ha I have raw sienna and it's not my favorite brown. But it's like a golden brown. And I think I'm going to do that. And stay with the color palette. Like um, I am not great at hair. I'm finding like I'm not really flowy with it like Tam is so good at hair a lot of you guys I mean and I'm sure I'll get better but um, <clears throat> right now I'm just really kinda I'm not like sure what I'm supposed to be doing so I think like right now what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to make some go in front of her wing and some behind it and it's kind of flowing out here and oh boy I'm not really sure so I'm gonna fill this in see and again this is just base coating so this doesn't have to be any kind of detail at all right now nothing has to be exact because um, I'm gonna shade and highlight and then add details Actually, this color isn't bad. I kind of like this color. Um, it's like a golden brown, basically, right? And I definitely think I'm going to um, add gesso next time. Oh, shit. I didn't want to put that there. That's okay. Um, because I want to see. I think it's going to look more blotchy than 
if I had added gesso because um, it's some of it is sucking into the paper and some isn't you know what I mean and I add water to my paint too so um, I don't know I think it's gonna be good don't worry not that you're worried and like this little piece is going to come over her shoulder, but the rest I'm just going to tuck behind the wing. So yeah, I mean, we'll see what happens. Like this little part is going to be behind the wing, but that part's coming forward. So I don't know if hair actually does that, you know. But see, that's what I love about having a whimsical style. None of that bothers me. I don't mind. Um, I don't like how the part is looking this is kind of crazy over here so you know what I can go off camera and do this too just thinking if I want to share anything with you about this um, I add water to my brush to get the paint to flow so it doesn't you know it's not just uh, hard and I'm just gonna do it I don't know if this looks right. I might actually cover that part of the wing, but I kind of wanted it to be like the the hair was kind of going th through her wing and stuff. Or not through it, but... See, I think I want to make more wing right here. It kind of looks weird, doesn't it? Hmm. I'm not loving that I did this this way, but I mean, hey, it is what it is, and we'll just feel, we'll see what happens. Um, it was just an idea to have some blowing that way, but I think more would be behind it too. Like that. I don't know, you guys. This might not be good, this part. We'll just have to wait and see. So this is two coats. I'm not going to do any more. And I can still see pencil through that. So I'm not thrilled about that. Um, and I'm learning. This is all a learning curve for me. So I'm going to start sketching my face. And I'm going to show you how I do that very simply and I've seen a lot of different um, YouTube videos about this but I like the grid so actually her chin is the point of her chin is kind of here and I made the part not there so I'm just gonna make it and this is kinda for you guys because I, I don't want this on here necessarily because um, it's not it doesn't erase great but you make this is the eye line this is the nose line, and then this is the mouth line. And here's my chin. Oops, I have wet paint. So anyway, I'm going to just space an even amount of space between both sides. And then I'm going to make my eyes the same size as that space. So I, I kind of make three sections that are all the same size. And that's my eye. Oops, I'm going to try and stay in the shot. And I like to make my eyes like this, like kind of like... I go up, like make a really swoopy up, like a hill. See that? And then you can kind of go straight with the bottom. A little bit down, but mainly just like a little straight. This one looks bigger, so I'll fix that later. Then you make your nose, and I'm going to make a little circle here, and then your nostril goes right next to the circle and then they connect like that, basically. Oops, that's a lot of, too much, too much going on there. And I mean, it erases off here pretty good. And this could be more sketchy. Like you don't have, this isn't your final. Um, and then you can make that little fulcrum, fulcrum, right? And then your lips, I like to give them these little, I like smoochy lips. 
I have very, very thin lips, and I don't love mine. So I like to give my girls pretty lips that, that, that I would like to have. And I want her to smile, and then she gets a chin, and then I'm going to have to finish her chin line there. So I think I'm going to bring my hair down a little more here, and then her eyebrows go like right about here. So that's pretty good. Um, then you make a circle, like a half circle. I only make a circle on the bottom part and I make it straight across the top. And then try to do both eyes at the same time so you don't, um, so you make them the same size, like kind of go back and forth. This one's too small, I'm just making it a little bigger. And I'm going to give her green eyes. And that's it. I think I'm going to start painting her. Um, hopefully she looks good. I don't get caught up in it. I make every person is going to be who they are. Like, she is who she is. I'm not trying to make her anything. Whatever comes out of me is what she is. So that's who she is. So I like that better. It kind of gave her more. Um... And then there's the, another line here. There's like an eyelid line that goes here. And um, I like to put a little, you know what, let me erase this line. And I like to put um, a little um, line under here too, but just faintly. And we're going to shade and highlight all those areas. Uh, is that good? Her neck looks kind of wide, but I like her. And she looks like she's kind of looking up, and I like that too. Um, and the first thing I'm going to do is, I'm going to clean my hands off, because I guess I got graphite all over them, is um, shade her face with the dark, with the shading color. And I do that by floating. And so then you'll start to see all the areas that... Um, or, you know, you'll, she'll start to come to life. Ooh, I guess my, maybe my son's home. And to do this, I use palette paper, which is this, like, um, waxy. You can use actually use your craft mat, but I like to use palette paper. And just because I that's the way I've always done it. Let me go back up so you can see what I'm doing. And I take a, um, an angle brush, I go into the water, blot it on a paper towel. So let the paper towel suck the water out of the brush a little bit, but there's still water in there. And I just put a little bit of that shading color on the corner of my brush, and I blend it into the bristles on my palette paper. And this is going to give me a graduation of color from dark to light to water. And I am a heavy hand, so I have a lot of paint on my brush. And I'm going to start right up here at her part and come down around this whole side of her face. Go right over the eye and kind of set it up against that cheek there. So I turned my brush. Do you see how I turn my brush? And I can soften it out with my mop. And I'm going to do the same thing on the other side, but I'm going to let that dry for a minute. So I'm going to just do under her neck. And I have a lot of paint left here, so I can just load my brush right from here. It's looking a little wet, so I just blot again, and I'll add a little more paint. A lot of times I just pick up the paint right from there. So I'm going under her neck this time, put the corner of the um, where the paint is right up under her neck, under her chin, I should say, and go across. And that's going to start to give her some shape. 
Um, her nose looks a little small, but it's cute to have a little nose, right? Little delicate nose. Um, I'm going to start, it looks a little wet still, but I'm going to go, again, put the color up against the paint there and go all the way down the side of her face and kind of tuck it in. And you can start to see a shape there. I really don't like how that turned out. I think I'm going to, um, this is really going to be hard to do, I think, but I'm, this is really bugging me, the way the hair goes over, so I'm going to base that. I'm going to go right over that. I don't like it. And it might not cover very well right now, but I think it'll end up covering okay. I'll do whatever it takes. Yeah, I just don't like that. I don't love the way the hair... I am so, like, not good at hair. You know what else I think it would be better? If I made the hair go... I need more hair color. But, like, up here. Yeah, I think it has to kind of all... It could even come out here. But why is it not there? <laughs> so, yeah. I have a lot to learn still. But I just wanted to share with you the um, the way I do the face. So I'm just letting what I just did dry a little bit. And then I'll come back and um, do some more shading. But with the technique I use, you kind of have to give it a minute to let it dry. So I think I like that better. If I make it pretty, it could look good, right? If I make that pretty hair, maybe a little wider over here too. You know what? I have um, dried up paint in my um, on my palette, so I keep getting little chunks of dried paint on my brush. I think that might look a little better. Um, what should I do the halo? I think the halo, I want it to be gold, so how about yellow? We'll make it yellow, and then I'll go over the yellow with um, gold. And you know what? I'm going to spray the background, too, because... Um, not that one. I just want to see what that color is going to do on there. And it's kind of lopsided. But I'll give it some, oh, I like that. I'll give it some um, dimension too. I'm going to put the wing up this way a little. Oh, there's too much water in my brush. This is fun. I'm having fun. I like it. She makes me happy. But it is kind of blotchy. Alright, so the next thing I want to do is, hmm, I'm going to go, I'm going to switch brushes because I'm a heavy hand, meaning I put a lot of paint on my brush. And I'm going to take that same shading color. This is just a smaller version of that brush. And I'm going to get some of that on my brush. And I'm going to go around her nose a little bit. We have to go um, around here, underneath. The graphite gets on my brush. That looks kind of weird. Looks like she has a mustache. Um, a little bit under her mouth, like right here. Um, 
When I add the highlights, it's going to look better. Don't worry. I got to put a little bit above this crease. Oops, I just stuck it in the yellow. Um, like this eyelid, I'm going to put some above that. Pull it in a little and I'm going to just feather it out. Yeah, I'm not sure what's going on with the nose there, but we'll get, I'll fix it. And then I'm going to do the same thing over here. Pull it up over that eyelid into the center. See, this is why, like, when I painted, I liked it because someone else told me what to do. The graphite's kind of running. I don't know why. Um, I'm going to do some down the other side of her neck. Up here. And I have to go down one side of her nose. love that I'm connecting it here. I think I want to blend that out. I don't know why that graphite is coming out. So I don't like that I attached it to her nostril. I think I should have attached it to um, the tip of her nose. Alright, let's do that again. I'm getting a lot of graphite around here. I don't like the graphite. Why is it? Graphite's all coming off. Oh man. I didn't know graphite came off like that. <sighs> Let me try it. I think it's probably better the less lot the less the fewer lines that you can make or that you can do without what am I trying to say? Make fewer lines if you can help it. Um, because then you don't have to worry about cleaning it up. But I think I want to go to the tip of her nose. So I do need a line there. I want to make a little circle up here. That's where I want my circle to be. And I want this. Okay. I fixed it. Let me come in and let you see what I'm doing. I think seeing the nose is it's a very interesting thing. Noses are tricky. I want it to be a little um she's an angel so she should be perfect. But not my angels. I gotta fix that. Alright. I'm going to fix it, don't worry, it's going to look good. So I say... That's supposed to be dark. Alright, I think I can do it now. I think I can connect this little shading line and maybe I'll try not to make it so dark. Man, there's a lot of graphite on here. See all that graphite I just took off? Damn. All right. So I'm going to take this line with the shading color. And I'm, I've been using the same color the whole time. It's called Shading Flesh, I'm pretty sure. And it's by Americana. I want to take it and go from the brow to the tip of her nose. So like right here. I think that's where I want it. 
cute. That looks okay. And maybe just very lightly. I could do it on both sides. But I think I'm going to just leave it. Tam adds a lot of different colors to, um, like she'll take the red from the lips and bring it in. She'll take the eye color and bring it in. So let's give her some eyes. You know what? Let's just bring those eyes to life. And I picked this color, which is called Rainforest Green. And it's kind of like um, a gray green, I guess I want to call it. And I'm going to use just a little round. It's like a number three round. I have a little bit of water in my brush. And just, I'm going to base in the whole entire circle. Wow, I love it. That's gorge. Am I still in the shot? I hope so. Ugh. I forget to look up sometimes and I don't even know I'm in the shot anymore. Or I'm not in the shot anymore. Once she gets some features, then she's, she comes to life with her crazy hair. She's pretty though. She's turning out pretty. I like the shape of that eye, the way it um, kind of swoops up. I didn't give this one such a swoop. But that's a pretty eye color, right? All right, let's see. Let's do some lips. Just like a peachy color lip. Oh, I like this color. Fiesta pink. It's kind of like a coral color. Pretty, right? And um, I can make the top lip darker. And then uh, bring, add a little white maybe to the. This isn't the best brush for detail. And then I'm going to add a little bit of that highlight color to it and make it a tad lighter. That's what, um, what's her name? too light. Um, Jane Davenport has a video on YouTube. She said the bottom lip, the top lip juts out and the bottom lip, see this looks kind of crazy, but I'm going to shade it with the, um, the darker color too. So let's see. She's looking pretty. I like her. It's a little crooked, you guys, because I'm not like right on top of it. Let's just get it straightened out if I can. And then I have to make fix the top. Um, so I still have to shade the nose. But I'm liking it. She looks pretty. I'm going to add some color up here. I'm going to do some spraying in a minute and see what those little mini misters. Those are the... Um, Recollections mini misters. They're just like that. They seem just like the Tim Holtz ones. So that's why I got them. Um, and they were, they were on half price. Because Tim Holtz stuff's never, well, I can't say never. Rarely ever on sale. Man, I'm struggling with this top lip. Um... Let's squirt. I'm going to just put this um, right here and let's see what happens. Oopsie, that was the lid. Let's cover the wing too. I don't want it all over the wing. Am I up? I don't care if it's in the hair, but I just want to put... Nothing. Nothing is happening. Oh, here it comes. Mm. 
Well, so far I wouldn't give it a high rating, this little mini mister. Not much is happening. Oh man, I might as well just do it with... I think it's clogged already. I'll just do that and then you know what we're going to do? Um, add a spritz of water and it should um, disperse it. That stinks. I'm going to try the gold. Ooh, that worked better. Oh, okay. I had one dud. Now let's see what happens when I hit it with water, though. I don't know. Should I use a brush? Because that didn't do what I was hoping for it to do at all. This is totally jammed. I guess like there's pigment in there or something that like can jam it, but it's not even um, really. And I'll hit that with uh, my water. I just love how it disperses it. And I'll coax it with the with a brush a little bit. Can you see what I'm doing? And I'll probably um lot since this is not at all what I was expecting but I definitely like the color I like the gold I like the spatter actually let me tip it it's not at all what I was expecting so let's just start blotting I rub. Well, it actually spreads it around at least I have. At least I have the color everywhere. Huh. Not what I was expecting. It is what it is. Um, think her face is very very dark so I want to go in now with some highlights and I want to sh um, put some cheeks on her too uh, I'm gonna use that the same color I used for her lips and put a little cheek on here so we're just gonna come right in from over here I did not have enough water on my brush and that's looking really bright so I'm going to just tap it. Um, push it back a little. And I'm going to go over that, the eye. But I like that. That's good. That's pretty.
I like going that way better. That was easier. Um, I'm going to do some highlights. So I'm going to use that highlight color that I did the wings and put some up here. And kind of blend it in and go right down the nose. This will really like start to blend in though if I go. And if it's too bright, I can always go back over it. Right on top of her lip. This is actually looking really bright, but I'm just going to go with it. And uh, like right on top of her lip, this can kind of look mustachey, so you have to be careful. But um, it really helps. And I'll shade there too. I'll shade and I have to do her chin. And like right under her eye. And on her eyelid I'm going to do too. Um, her nose needs more shading. Where do I put it on the nose? I got to put it like, I'm just looking at another one over here. Um, I want to look at my other one. I got to do right her philtrum. So like right here. And then her nostrils, and then like I'll highlight the outside edges of her nostrils. But shouldn't this be like a little shaded up here? I don't know. I don't know. All right, got to do another coat of her eyes. And then put some whites and the white. I'll use, I have a Posca pen out here, my white Posca pen. I probably could get in there better with a, um, brush. This is the fine point, or actually this could even be an extra fine. It's pretty thin. And when I've used like inks and then try to um, put this on top, the inks bleed right through. Like the paint, they just, the paint sucks up the ink and it turns the color that's underneath. So the paint is good. I can go right over the paint and it doesn't, um, it stays white, so it's good. And I'm going to outline the eyes so I don't have to worry about that. I could put a little bit of, and if I touch it, sometimes it adds that. And then I, when I um, shade over it again. So I mean, she's coming out pretty cute. I hate the background. You know what I'll do is uh, when I'm done, I'll shade around everything with um, like a teal color paint and it'll, it'll blend in. It'll look fine. I'm going to go over this wing a little more and block that in. But I think she's going to be cute. She's got very dark skin so far, and um, not sure that I'll use those same colors. Next time, maybe I'll start lighter. I'm not sure. I'm going to do her pupils. And it's not a round circle. It's like a line at the top. And then you pull the circle down. Well, this one's a lot more 
round at the top, but it's not supposed to be. The idea is for it to be straight. Do they look even? I like to do the right one first so that I can see it while I do the left one because I'm right handed. Is she coming to life? I think I gotta highlight her nose again. And I don't know how much more I'm gonna play around with it. I think I'm gonna consider the face done, you know? And when I outline everything, it'll um, bring it to life. I'll probably use um, a water soluble pencil maybe. Is that what I want to do? Here's one thing I want to do. Um, where's my little brush? I want to do, here it is, a little highlight above the eyelid, like on the eyelid, I mean like right here. And right here again. Brightens up her cheek. Um, and then when you outline everything, I think I'm going to do one more. I could probably shade with different colors too, like bring the blue. Should I try it? I'm going to try it with this green. I just want to see what happens because this is what Tam does. She adds the the like other colors to the piece and I want to see what it does. Shut this brushes seem better days. I'm not sure what it does. What do you think? It's kind of looking very messy. I'm going to do it again. I didn't do such a hot job of that. And that's the thing with acrylic, you could just wipe it right off. Um, but I'm gonna I'm gonna try, I'm like, I think I'm gonna put it above her eye too. That's what Tam did. So let's see what that does. If I put it like right here. Kind of looks like eyeshadow, right? I don't know if I if I have enough paint or what's going on or if it's this crappy brush. That looks good. Like I think that's what I'm trying to go for. So start here and pull it up. That looks kind of good, right? It just adds. This is fun though. Like for me, I haven't done a lot of this um, type of painting. And it's just back and forth and back and forth and see what you like and what you get like it's a kind of a happy I'm happy with it because it's a, like a little person when I'm done I've created someone and she's gonna be an angel so I'm gonna um maybe I'll stencil on her her wings like I kind of like that what that added to it the color that I brought, so maybe I'll go up under her hair too, right here. I don't want her to look gray. I think she's kind of pretty. I'm not hating it. I think she looks pretty good. I don't love her nose. I don't, I'm not good at noses, but I think I'm starting to get the hang of it. So I'm going to, maybe I'll just outline her little face for you guys so you can see what she looks like. I didn't shade her lips. What do I want to do? Like, I have to shade. Um, I think I'm going to go across. Um, do I want to add a little bit of a darker color? I don't think the green's going to look right. I, don't, I think it's going to be. Be 
You guys can't really see, right? Something about her nose is bugging me, but she looks pretty cute. I think she's cute. This eye is really pretty. I like the way it's shaped. Um, okay, I'm liking it. I'm going to um, finish it up, and I'll come back when I'm all done. All right, be right back. I decided to try floating this, um, the FW acrylic ink around the image, and I'm loving how it's turning out, so I just wanted to share that. I'm just doing it the same way I would paint. I'm, I side-loaded it on my brush with water in my brush, and you can kind of, it'll be strongest up against the image, and it fades out. So I don't have too much water in my brush, just enough to, to keep it flowing. But see how it, it's kind of grounding the image now, connecting it all together. And it's doing, it's doing what I wanted. That's really dark right there, but that's okay. I can always darken it up in places that I want it to be. But yeah, and then I can go around the edges too. I'm going to go around the halo, like on the inside of the halo right here. And it's going to look dimensional around the back of the halo. I have erasure, eraser, erasure. And then around the outside edge. So, I mean, it worked out. It, it, it wasn't. Those um, spray bottles didn't work out. That stunk. One of them did, the one with the gold. But the other one, nah, not so much. So I just put that and have some dark and light areas. That looks pretty good, actually. I'm not hating that. Good. Because that was a disappointing uh, adventure for a minute there. But I saved it, right? can't give up and that's just gold the gold too I forgot about so I'll spatter with gold at the end I'm gonna spatter with the gold so let me do up against the hair all right that that makes me happier I like that now it's it's definitely yeah, I might even, I still could stencil like some white. I might, I might do that. We'll see. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to share that. And so I'm going to continue finishing up. So I, I'm kind of adding some yellow. The same yellow that I used for um, the halo. And I'm just kind of side loading it in. I think I'm going to pull some actual curls at the end or with the yellow because I think it would be lightest on the ends but I like how that's looking it's adding a little brightness to her hair I outlined some stuff with this Faber-Castell pit pen the medium um, I gave her eyebrows like with the paint the same color as her hair um, I'll probably outline like I think I want to bring this up to the finish the face like here. I used another pit pen. I forgot all about these. I've had these. I think they were called the landscape. These were on clearance. Um, this is India ink. So these are great. Like this color right here. I wonder if this would show up. This is called green gold. Let me see if I can do this. Eh, it's not showing up. It's too, I mean, the color, I mean, it's kind of showing up but not really. Um, I have this color. This is Indian red, and I think that's what I like put the lines in her hair with. Um, there's a green, so um, there's this dark green. And so anyway, and this is kind of like a Indian blue. I in Dan blue. That's a weird, <gasps> excuse me, weird name. I totally put her lips crooked. Like, look at the lips when I outlined them. You know, so she is the most imperfect angel in the world. She's not shaded really dark. Like, I could come back in, but...
but I'm liking it. I'm thinking that's enough. Um, I'm going to figure something out for the wings. I want them to be kind of like, I don't know. I want to figure something out for them. But I like them pretty. I like them. I think she turned out super cute. I'm pretty happy with it. This I got to add details. And then I was thinking of adding some um, stars in the sky with um, maybe I'll mix some of the gold ink with my modeling paste or something and do gold stars. That could be kind of cool. I want to go over the... Um, I have gold paint though. You know that? I'm going to use my gold paint instead of the ink. And I'm going to show you how I'm going to make this um, halo look dimensional. I'm going to take my pencil and so the front, it goes like this. Right here it's going to get shaded and it's going to be highlighted. First I want to put the gold on though to make it gold and then I'm going to shade on top of that with um, probably burnt sienna, oopsie, um, because, and then I could even highlight some more, but um, I definitely want to get the gold shimmer on there. I didn't want to make it thicker. And having the yellow back behind it makes it um, trans, what is it? Opaque. Because otherwise this metallic paint is very sheer and transparent. And I want it to look like solid gold. So I'm going to take that all the way up to there. And if you can see where I put the... Um, those lines I'm going to shade in that area um, you know what I want to do let me sketch I want to do like something like that like it's kind of like in a bird right like a bird's wings this is kind of like the bone or the cartilage right and I'm going to shade oh, that's too thick I think doing this on camera is a bit hard can't find my eraser um, it's interesting I don't want this to come all the way to the feather I'm not even in the shot I'll zoom back out a little but I want this to come kind of just to here There we go. So maybe you can see those lines. I'm going to shade that. And I'm trying to think, do I actually want to make feathers? Um, boy, that could be super cool looking. Um, so yeah, let me see if my... I'm going to dry the halo. I think she's cute. You know what I mean? Like, for not being very... Um, I haven't done very many faces. I like the hair, how I fixed it. It kind of got, you know, I put those little curls at the end, so it makes it... All right, let me get my burnt sienna I think I want to use. I could probably even go darker, but I think maybe I have this color called asphaltum. There's not a ton of it in here. Um, and I don't know, yeah, I do want to go brown, because I have, um, chocolate cherry, but I think I might shade, shade her hair. Watch that, oh, I'm going to show you something, too, how I shade the hair. Urgh, I don't have very much of this. Oh, yes, I do. All right, I want to show you a couple things. First thing I want to show you is the halo. I'm going to go... Sorry. Right there. I'm going to 
do the side load, the float technique, blending it into my brush, and I'm going to put this right here and right here. I think I need more though, but you can see I definitely need more. I'm going to put it along the bottom here and I think I'll put it along the bottom of the back too. Because it's metallic it really um, glides across so easily. I could actually bring this out more and yeah it really glides across there. I, don't, I think I came down too far. Does that look good? See how it makes it look round? So let's go back up. See? I think I could even go further. <laughs> And I could kind of do it in the front too. I don't want to do it in the front too much, but like right at the end, it would be dark here. Right there. And right here. Because it's turning a corner. Isn't that cool? Let's see if you can see it. I think I can make it a little bit. I want to make sure it's dry, but I'm going to bring the darkness in the back. Further. And then I'll outline it too, and that'll even, I'm going to use my bigger brush this time and see if that helps me get more. I'm going to bring it further along. And do the same thing here. Trying to walk it across. See? And then there could even be a highlight. Like what kind of what color? I guess like just white, right? I, I'll just do it with my um Posca. Just go like this. Get a little back there. smudge it out a little. I like it. It's adorable. She's turning out cute. Um, Alright, so I'm going to figure out something for the wings and I'll be back. Okay, the other thing I was going to show you was with the um, the same color that I just shaded the um, halo, I wanted to shade her hair because she doesn't have any um, darks in her hair yet. So I'm going to do it um, let me do this first and I'll show you how it'll put this behind. Sometimes it's better to not put your pen lines on until you're done painting and I kind of forgot about that with the hair because I don't want to smudge the lines and everything. So I'm going to go up against the other side of her neck too. But all of a sudden her hair is going to be there will be parts that are in front and parts that are in back. Now the neck, I mean the this side, oops, I just spit. Sorry. Go up against that too. I had a blooper in there. But look at that already. OMG. I'm really liking this piece. This is making me happy. You know what else? There's gonna be some up against her part. So right here. And 
here. Oopsie. I don't want to get it on that part. But... And I'm going to just like I want to keep it darkest at the part. Let's see how that looks. All right, now this time I'm going to go up against her neck on the other side. Right here. And up against her face. And also down the bottom. But, um... Then I'm going to go, because that strand of hair is coming across here, I have to kind of go here too. And I'll just fade it out up here. Like it, it can just fade out up to there. Well, it didn't actually, did it? But see how it starts to separate out? Separate out. Separate. And I'm going to do it all along the wing. This is so fun. And you know what? Honestly, I'm really proud of myself because this is my design. And I'm, I'm new to this. Like, I'm telling you, um, as a toll painter or decor decorative painter for years, I painted other people's designs. So this makes me happy that I can just draw a cute little angel. Oh, boy. I'm going all over the... Kiwi, and I'm going all down here, and this sets the hair behind the wing. I have a lot more shading to do, like this little piece right here. Um, you know what, let me come down on this side first. I'm going to add some right here. I think I just went over yellow, which I'll add back in at the end. Probably I should do all the um, highlights at the end anyway. I should have done all my shading first anyway. Boy, that graphite really smudges. Um, so what else was I going to show you? So I want to, I'm going to shade on my uh, wings. Excuse me. <clears throat> I wonder what color. I want it a really, really soft. You know, like this toffee. That's mocha. That might be too soft. I'm going to figure it out. Maybe the hair color. Let me see what it looks like. I'm going to go up. I have plenty of that out, so. It might be too, I don't like it. It's too yellow. I don't want to use it. I want to use something like a, a toffee. I'm going to see if I have a toffee color. I think I do. Um... But yeah, like right here, I got to do on her hair. And that makes it look like it's going. And right here, I'll do one. Boy, that really starts to come together, doesn't it? Right here. And then I'm going to go up against all that, too. Um, just a couple in this area of her hair. There are little clumps. There's clumps. Paint. That's an older paint. I'm going right over all that yellow, though. This is a mop brush. I keep reaching for that because this is just a dry brush that I can pull the water. And it just softens it out a little bit. Oh my gosh, she is looking so cute. i got to do something cool with these wings. Um, what else did I want to show you? So I'm just going to continue on doing that. Um, my halo is looking cool. And, um, figure something out for my wings and then I'll be back. Okay. <clears throat> Excuse me. 
So I'm just using this little stencil. This has hearts, circles, and stars. And I just set it up in the corner and I'm going to do some more. Uh, right there. Um, anywho, the first thing I'm doing though is um, white or it's actually buttermilk or let's see light buttermilk because the gold was not taking when I did it uh, sorry I'm so okay so I I'm using a separate and these are just from the dollar store those makeup sponges you can get and I'm just stenciling on the stars first in white or the buttermilk actually uh, then I'm grabbing the gold and I'm using metallic gold paint. This is by Dazzling Metallics by DecoArt. I tried mixing some um, of the uh, FW ink into like a gel medium and it did not work at all. And it's just because out of laziness I can't find my modeling paste so I'm just kind of, but I like it. So like it's kind of subtle but I really like the effect I'm getting. And then I'm going to use, I, I shaded around this little section of the wing like where I said that cartilage or the bone. But I'm gonna put some words on here in the same color. I have, a, I have dream, peace, and wish I really like. So I think I'm gonna put that on here. And then, um, I'm going to do like feather marks too, so I'm not sure. I'm going to put hope, love. So I'm just going to stencil those onto my wings so I'll have words. All right, so I'll be back. Okay, you guys, it's done. I am super happy with this. I think that the blue spray bottle not working was like a happy accident because I love the modeled effect of the blue the spatter and then there's a little bit of gold spatter in there like I don't think I could have done that on purpose <laughs> you know um, so that's awesome I love it and then I just floated it like made it solid around the edges um, her hair I mean I, I I'm so glad I took it off of here and just and then I put the curls at the end and I love how this is coming over here um, I left the wings pretty plain. I ended up stenciling. I have this stencil. Um, some words in that in the shading color. Uh, hope, joy, imagine, wish, believe, dream. Let's see if you can see that. I'll come down actually. Uh, you know, her face, I ended up putting a little bit of like a turquoise blue, Indian turquoise, on her eyes, even though they're green. They're like a green gray. I put the turquoise on her eyes. Um, her face looks cute to me. I mean, I think it could probably be darker in a few places, but I don't want to get carried away. I think it does the job. Her hair looks cool. I like how I just shaded it on one side, highlighted it on the other. Um, but see, here's the wings. Oh, and then I went over the entire wing with pearl paint. I watered it down and just painted the entire wing like let me turn it at an angle not on that one as much look but then so it's all shimmery then I went back and shaded again and I did straight white on the edges of the bottom so you can see where it's not shining and I did straight white up here and then I shaded again because I just I didn't want it to be all shiny uh, yeah, and then I put a little bit of yellow on the tips of her hair. And I love how the stenciled stars, because I did the white behind it, and then the gold on top, there's like almost a, um, a halo. Like you can see it really good there, like the white behind the gold. I really love it. I think it turned out so cute. I mean, yeah, I need some, you know, I'm not perfect at the faces, but what a cute two-page spread. I just winged that. 
So I just signed my name and the date. Wow, my camera's crooked. Sorry. <laughs> I love the halo too. And I mean, I'm sure you could go crazy. There's a ton more you could do. I outlined her hair with, actually I did not outline the hair. I outlined the wing with this, uh, it's India ink. It's, it's like an Indian red. So, I mean, I could outline probably, but I think it's good. I only outlined a little bit with black. I like it. I'm going to call it done. And I'm going to keep doing these faces. I think they're super cute. Um, Alright you guys, thank you so much for watching.